Hello guys, this is the Retro Guy. So this is, I'm just uh, doing this video to update you guys on the refurbishment of the Macintosh SE that I showed you before. So this is the stage I am right now. I just uh, finished cleaning up everything from the, you know, the inside ports. So this is the analog board. As you can see, it's very clean and ready to go. Same goes for uh, the hard drive. I actually had to add one. This one didn't have a hard drive. Uh, so this is from my personal collection, basically. It's an original SC hard drive, SCSI hard drive. Uh, I have already done the retro writing on the parts. So as you can see, this is uh, the front bezel and it looks stunning. It's really, really in good shape. The, the only problem is still is the cracks here, as you can see, right? So it's not too bad. It is a crack nevertheless, but I was able to basically repair it using some plastic soldering um, approach. So it is not perfect as you can see, but it was done from the inside to minimize the visual impact on the on the bezel right but uh it's very sturdy and ready to go so yeah the retro brighting results are really really amazing this guy was really really in bad shape and it turned out to be great uh the back case also is in very good shape so if you saw it before there were like uh, two major Apple um, stickers on the side, two big ones. I'm trying to get the focus right here. It's very hard. Let me put my finger here and try to focus on that. Yeah, that's better. So uh, that basically went away almost everything. I still can see like, so it's a little bit clearer in this area here where the sticker was. And there was another one up here. So it's still a little bit clearer, but it's almost, almost invisible. I'm not going to retro write this any further. There is also like a hard mark here from the, you know, original owner, probably like a company or a school or something like that. It was very uh, common to do something like that on those SCs so that uh, people will refrain from actually stealing them. So, and of course, this is not uh, able to remove. This is like uh, burned into the plastic. So uh, what I've done is basically with the Retrobrite, actually it's, um, it looks much better. Like there was a white patch here around this because probably there was some sort of, uh, uh, I don't know, plastic protection or something. Uh, but uh, it looks great now anyways. So yeah, it's, uh, it was a very successful uh, Retrobriting uh, thing. So it looks great. So this is the back also looking amazing it was very yellowed and uh, it turned out to be great so it's really really white now almost like the original uh, the original SC color so what I'm going to do now is reassemble everything as you can see I have two CRT tubes here one was from an older project that I had uh, basically it's uh, from this guy here right so this is the one that got the, the LCD behind so this is another thing and uh, because of that, I have one spare tube. So I'm going to figure out which tube is uh, actually performing better in terms of quality, and I'm going to go for it. So both are working for sure, uh, and both uh, have some very small burnout. So you can actually see it. If I take one of the tubes here, ah, they are very similar. If you look down here, so you can see my slide red uh, sorry red black bar going across the tube this is basically the apple menu uh, i'm holding it upside down but it, it is the apple menu here so what happened was those machines in the past it was very common that they stayed on basically forever and that of course burned uh, the phosphorus inside of those tubes it's not a big deal the tubes are working just fine and uh, this is not destructive at all so it doesn't really matter both tubes have the same issue so i'm just going to you know pick the one that i like the most and i'm going to you know uh, throw it into the project here and uh, reassemble everything test make sure the hard drive is working and everything else and then i will uh, record a final video and i'm going to blend in with this one 
showing the final results. But it, it looks like uh, I will not have any surprises or anything here. Uh, the Mac is working. I tested it before. Uh, the previous owner actually got everything in very, uh, he kept everything in very good shape aside from the, uh, the case. So as you can see here, this is uh, the logic board. And I, I didn't do anything here. It looks great, very, very clean. And uh, so there is really nothing for me to do here. I could change the battery, the CMOS battery here. But the problem is this battery is actually soldered into the board. And I'm really not in the mood to do this right now. I don't have um, a battery that could actually be soldered in to the board, but I do have one that I could adapt for that. I might do it. I'm not entirely sure that I will, um, but I might uh, before we assemble everything. Let's see. But that's it. Uh, the next project that I have in line is this guy here. So this I, I actually got for free at eBay uh, yesterday when I went to actually pick up a monitor. And uh, it is, uh, it's a machine that, you know, I like. It's not great. It's a Performa 6200, a power PC. Uh, you know, it's, it's not too bad. Like, I like the design. Uh, it's yellowed, as you can see, very yellowed. But again, retro brighting is going to make this look as good as new again. And uh, worst case scenario, I'll keep this for parts. Like it has a, a hard drive inside, it, it has a floppy disk, so I can use those parts for sure, right? So I think that's it for now, guys. Uh, as soon as I have anything new, I will just uh, uh, let you guys know. Cheers. Hi guys. Well, this is the finished product. Let's call it a product. So this is my refurbished Mac Plus, uh, Mac SC, sorry. As you can see, very white, very appealing, and very nice. Everything is working, so this is the keyboard I'm using with it. And uh, so let me power it up, so you guys get to see the magic happening. So, there you go. That's satisfaction of uh, listening to the startup beep so the internal hard drive is working just fine as you can see because of the burnout on the monitor like there is a small very barely a note uh, noticeable uh, bar on top but as soon as the system boots up it's really like uh, not a problem because uh, the bar stays exactly where the regular bar uh, stays so Basically, you don't see it when the monitor is actually turned on and the quality of the monitor is actually really good So I tuned the monitor on up a little bit So I improved the focus and uh, other things and it's looking stunning now, so you can see that The focus is really good. The monitor is really bright. That's not the brightest setting. So let me show you here so this is the brightest setting so as you can see it's really really bright I'm going to basically <clears throat> reduce the brightness a little bit so this was also calibrated when I was uh, tuning everything up I have added my favorite games on the internal hard drive and my favorite tools as well like disk utilities and such so we do have a lot of very nice games here like uh, Dark Castle for example a classic so of course it works very nice on this model right so let's wait for it to boot up and there you go so very nice graphics and sound and everything <laughs> so yeah this was a very good a successful project so everything is working as expected and uh, yeah, it was really, really nice. So let me quit out of the game. Back to the desktop. And that's it. So everything's working. I tested the SCSI uh, external port as well because I used the zip drive basically to move stuff around. 
and uh, yeah it's really good so even the hard drive light here is working if you look at it when I do something with the hard drive like uh, I don't know opening something so like uh, you can see that it flashes as expected so yeah very nice results here really really happy with this so this one I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because I already have a Mac Plus which is actually running on top there and uh, well I don't have an SE so I might as well keep it instead of selling it not decided yet but um, yeah this was a nice project and uh, it's basically concluded now it's finished uh, there is nothing else to be done here everything is working everything is perfect Hope you guys enjoyed it and I talk to you guys later. Bye.